Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial. This one is special not just for us but for you as well as we try another format for the tutorials here. Instead of breaking up this tutorial into components such as true metallic metals, how to paint cloth, how to paint sword handles, etc. We decided to do an entire model in one go. Unfortunately, since this is a very new and overwhelming process for me, I lost some footage of the back of the shield. So we will record another tutorial explaining uh, just how to do this. I also tried to film uh, closer to the model, which was a demand by uh, some of our viewers, uh, which meant I sometimes ended up outside the screen while painting one full model. I apologize for this and hope you guys can follow along still. Now you don't have to follow along in the order I paint in, uh, whatever madness works for you is the, usually the best recipe. I hope you will enjoy this and let's get started. So as for the palette for the gold, I am using Balthasar Gold, Retributor Armor, and Scale 75 Elven Gold, and Scale 75 Alkima Citrina. For the steel, I am using Lead Belcher, uh, Scale 75 Heavy Metal, Scale 75 Black Intense, uh, Citadel Necron Compound, and Scale 75 Speed Metal. For the robes, I am using Sandry Dust and Ushapti Bone. For the brown leather, I'm using Doom Bowl Brown, Tuscor Fur, and Cadium Flesh. For the red handles of the mace, I'm using Corn Red, Tuscor Fur, and Cadium Flesh. For the blue armor, I'm using Cantor Blue, uh, Ally Talk Blue, and Calgar Blue. I am also using Agrax Earthshade and Noln Oil. The first thing I do is I take Lead Belcher through the airbrush and cover all of the steel armor thoroughly on top of black primer. Secondly, I apply a Senethal airbrush of heavy metal. This means that I'm taking a lighter color and airbrushing it from the top down. After this, I use the black ink tense color to shade the model from below. Lastly, I give it a thin airbrush layer of Noil Oil. This is to mute the metallic paints a little bit. After this, the airbrushing is done for now and we will go back to the painting table. Now we're gonna apply a dry brush of Necron Compound all over the steel of the miniature. This will give the model a nice setup to apply some final highlights. I then use heavy metal and speed metal to give uh, certain areas of the steel, such as the top of the thigh, a better reflective surface. I apply the paint both uh, by scraping the brush and by stippling the effect in. It's very hard to see this on camera, but just take it slow from dark to light and you should be fine. I then apply another layer of black wash, but this time with a brush, and I do this to bring out the shapes of the steel armor. Now it's time for gold. I apply the gold to parts such as the shoulder pad trim, the logos, the throat and neck guard. Uh, this is roughly a 50-50 mix of Balthasar gold and Retributor armor. After this layer, I apply a wash of Agrax Earthshade to all the gold. While the wash is drying, we're gonna apply some blue. And for the blue, I apply a layer of Cantor Blue to the shoulder pad centers and the shield. Apply two thin coats here to make sure that the layers are nice and smooth. Thank you. 
While the Agrax Earthshade is drying, we can move on to applying some highlights to the gold. And for this, I'm using um, an Elven Gold to mix into the Balthasar Gold and the Retributor Armor mix. Here I also uh, pop on the shield to the miniature to make sure I get the angle just right on those highlights. And I move on to blocking the Doombull Brown to all the leather areas such as the abdomen, tabards, gloves and belt. I also apply a layer of corn red to the handle of the mace. Once they have dried, I wash them both with Agrax Earthshade. While the wash is drying, I move back over to the blue. This time I mix a Lytok blue into the Cantor blue and apply it to the inner parts of the shoulder pads and also to the shield side that's facing up. I keep mixing in a Lytok blue into the Cantor blue mix to make it slightly brighter with each layer. This will give it a nice transition as the blue gets closer and closer to a pure Lytok blue. And once you've reached pure Alitok blue, I edge highlight the blue with Calgar blue. To highlight the Doombull brown leather, I'm using Tuscor fur. I apply this to all edges of the gloves, abdomen, tabard, and belt. After this I use my smaller size brush to apply Cadium Flesh on top of the Tuscor fur, but leaving some of the Tuscor fur alone. This will give a nice transition as well. Thank you. 
And now it's finally time to paint the cloth. For this I use Sandry Dust and I cover it all completely, so at least two thin coats. I then mix in a shafty bone into the sandry dust and apply a layer in a senethal fashion trying to capture where the light would brighten up the cloth. I left a little extra video here for the people that are learning better by seeing the process, so pay attention on how and where I apply this layer.
Lastly, I add a second layer, this time of pure Ushapti Valm. This helps to bring out the edges of the cloth. You could even go as far as screaming skull here, uh, but since we're trying to keep the standard lower so we can knock out an entire army of these, the Shakti Bone is gonna be enough. After the fabric is done, I paint in the little bolts on the abdomen tabard and the cloak with lead belcher first and then speed metal after. I also do a final highlight on all of the gold with Alaquima Citrina. And now it's back to the airbrush. I will here apply a layer of Agrax Earthshade through the airbrush from the bottom of the miniatures. This will help to shade all of the colors that we have done up to this point. I don't apply this heavily, but thinly to one part of the miniature and move on to the next spot. This will allow for a smoother outcome and I can cycle around the miniature several times. This is a really neat trick that I learned from Sam Lenz. I'll leave a link to his work in the description below. And now back at the painting table, we are going to finish the final thing, which is to give the handle of the mace its final highlights of Tuscor fur and Cadian flesh. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. If you like the almost full miniature video, make sure to let us know in the comments below. If you do, on the other hand, prefer the shorter one-topic videos, let us know about that so we can tailor after what you guys want to see. I want to thank all of our patrons for their support. Mark Alexander, uh, Seamus, Jonathan Edlund, Jason D. Fluffer, Carl Martin, Matt Rutowski, and Mike Elkins. If you want to contribute to these tutorials so that we can continue to improve them, please follow the links below to our Patreon page. Any help is appreciated. But if you can't, that's totally fine. I'm really glad that you decided to watch this video. What you can do is you can give us a like, a subscription, and a comment to tell us about your project or if you have any wishes for tutorials you want to see in the future. I also want to thank everyone who purchased one of our shirts. If you want to get one of my sweet screen printed eco-friendly shirts, please go to www.oscarlars.com shop. The editing for this video was done by the amazing Martin Crane. The palette used in this video is the Redgrass Studio Wet Palette. You can purchase it and any other Redgrass products by going to www.oscarlars.com shop. Using this link or any other links there automatically contributes to these videos. Thank you everyone who watched this video. Please share, like and subscribe and leave a comment down below for any wishes of future tutorials. Have an awesome rest of your day and happy painting.